and we are live. Hey, welcome aboard, Concrete Constructors. This is Danny with your Concrete Success Podcast. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about something cool, which is blogging. Uh, and blogging, guys, this is a topic that there is a lot of misconceptions about how to blog for your concrete company, how to blog for your decorative concrete company, how to blog for your concrete coatings company, how to blog for your epoxy flooring services. And blogging sounds like a cool, uh, like a cool idea until you actually get to it, and then you realize, holy cow, like. I'm not actually getting any results out of the blogging. So in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing uh, some really, really cool strategies and how you can start thinking about building a blog for your business and how you can approach it so that you can get results. Because at the end of the day, why just have a blog when, you know, it's just going to be an expense or it's just going to take a lot of your time and it's not going to have a lot of impact in your business. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the show. So again, welcome aboard. This is Danny Barrera with Concrete Marketing Crew, and this is your Concrete Success Podcast. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can go ahead and visit ConcreteMarketingCrew.com today. And what I encourage you to do is to download our free checklist. And if you're looking at this right here on YouTube, uh, you're going to see that uh, I'm showing you my screen. I'm sharing my screen right now. All it takes is for you to enter your name and email address. Again, all you have to do is go to ConcreteMarketingCrew.com. And that checklist, I actually reveal and share with you guys. Uh, I'm going to pull the, the checklist right here. Uh, I share everything that you need to do in your online marketing arsenal to market your concrete business the right way online. And what this is going to result in is it's going to result in a better reputation for your business. It's going to result in a lot of uh, really, really uh, profitable projects for your business. You're going to attract the better type of projects. Why? Because people are going to find you online. They're going to find you when they are looking for you. They're going to find you as a reputable and trusted contractor and they're going to see your work and then they're going to choose between you and your competitors online. So again, using online media to position yourself apart from the rest is very powerful in 2021 and beyond. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm really excited about this episode because uh, it's something that is it's very misunderstood in the contractor space, not just concrete, but overall the contractor space. Uh, a few years ago, probably about five, six years ago, I started a, uh, a company called Con uh, Contractor SEO Agency where we would work with all sorts of contractors throughout the United States. And it was just mainly just SEO, search engine optimization. And uh, at the time I ranked that website uh, for SEO for contractors or SEO agency for contractors. You could probably look it up. It might still come up, but I'm not sure. The website's still up there. But anyways, uh, I got a chance to work with a whole bunch of contractors and happened to work with a resurfacing contractor. Uh, and um, at that point in time, I, I really, um, I was just uh, getting to know the decorative concrete space. And uh, when when we started looking at all the topics that we needed to write for that specific contractor, like my eyes just opened up wide open. They went wide open because, uh, it, you know, it's so much opportunity. There is so much untapped opportunity. And uh, the guys that were ranking on that specific service area were contractors that, number one, they weren't even contractors in that service area. They were just from a completely different uh, area and they just happened to write content about that specific topic, but they were getting uh, shown in that service area. Why? Because there's not a lot of content out there that's that's sufficing or servicing uh, that specific demand or that specific search term. So that being said, let me go ahead and take you into into a little bit of of uh, background into into how you should think about content creation, not not just for blogs, but just content creation online. Uh, and when we start mapping out your your concrete marketing plan, this is one of the things that we look at is, okay, where are your prospective clients at right now? So when we look at all the keywords, when we look at how people are searching in your service area, there's actually a process for that. There's actually a keyword research process, which lets us know what people are searching for the most in your service area. So what that does is that gives us a whole bunch of, of data uh, to determine what we need to build content for, etc. So that being said, uh, the first stage right on the very top here 
and just stick with me, uh, just stick with me for a moment because I don't want to bore you here, but uh, this is super important. The first step is stage, which is the top of the funnel is the awareness stage. Is uh, someone just became aware or they are becoming aware of uh, a, a, number one, a necessity. They're, they, they're becoming aware of a necessity or they're just getting to know a product. So let me give you two different scenarios right now. Someone just purchased a home, number one. Someone just purchased a, a new property and they want to do something in the current pool deck, but they don't know what to do. So they might either be looking for pavers or they might be looking at options of pavers versus uh, looking at what they can do with the existing concrete surface, if there is one right now or whatever they have in place right now. So all these different things are running through the prospective client's head and they're going out to Google and they are looking for ideas right? Concrete pool deck ideas. Think about that for a second, right? That's what they're going out there for. So concrete pool deck ideas. Now check this out. If you do pool deck resurfacing or concrete pool decks, new concrete or tear and replace concrete pool decks, uh, new installed stamp concrete pool decks. If you do any of those things, would it, wouldn't it be helpful to get a blog post that's well written that answers all the questions that someone may have when they are thinking about replacing or creating a, uh, a great outdoor space with their concrete pool deck, right? So you start thinking about those things. Now you get the perspective of how content gets created. Now, on the other hand, okay, on the other hand, uh, there is a different scenario. That's one scenario. S a, a different scenario is uh, there is a birthday party or a celebration happening in someone's home. Now, you know, say A person or B person just happens to go into that specific uh, home and they see, they look at the backyard, they look at the the uh, stamped concrete uh, patio and, and stamped concrete pool deck and they realize, wow, that's beautiful. What is that, right? What is that? And now all of the sudden, they start to get an idea of, wow, I would like to have some of that in my house. Let me go ahead and research more of that and they start thinking about stamp concrete and then before you know it they they go down that rabbit hole and they go and stumble through home advisor and they submit their information for a quote right that's the whole process so there is a journey that someone goes through when they are searching for your services now this does not just apply for stamp concrete this applies for everything guys i mean you talk about concrete coatings let me let me just uh, lay it out there for you guys concrete coatings as is is not a widely search term. It is not. People are going to be looking for epoxy. Why? Because it just happens to be that that's the one thing that people are used to talking about. Epoxy garage floors. They're not looking for concrete coatings or one day garage floors. It, that, that, those search terms, whenever we look at those two hand in hand, the way that we target those on Google search is we don't target, yes, we do target concrete coatings, but the main effort is epoxy garage floors. Why? Because we know that there is a higher search demand for that than versus concrete coatings or garage floor uh, concrete coatings, right? We've done this throughout the United States and I can tell you that's a big difference. So same, similar scenario, someone happens to go into someone's home, they look at the floor and they say, oh, wow, what, what, do, you, what do you actually got there? Oh, well, we just got an epoxy floor done uh, here and the guys came over and they did it in one day, whatever the case is, right? So that is how that conversation gets started. And again, someone goes out, goes back home, they talk to their spouse, etc. They go back into the office, they talk to their uh, co-workers, and now they are in the awareness stage. Now, when someone has already researched what they want, the next stage is consideration. Consideration. And I'm going to tell you the biggest misconception that I notice is number one is not understanding your buyer the right way, your consumer, your prospective client. Uh, biggest misconception number two is not targeting uh, or not speaking to your potential prospect or your potential client where they are at. So blogging 
uh, in, in, in itself, it's, it's a means of communication. And for you as a concrete contractor or contractor, who, whatever you do, whether it's decorative or just flat work, uh, you should understand your, your clients so that when they come to you, they are educated and predisposed to do business with you. So I'll share with you some, some case studies here. I'll show you uh, a couple of, of real uh, case studies so that you can actually see that this stuff actually works. And for those of you guys listening to this uh, on, on iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to our channel, that you give us a review because, you know, that, that helps the, the machine, the, the algorithms let, uh, let their back and know, you know, to share this content with other people just like you to help other concrete contractors just like you. So we would, we would appreciate it if you could just leave us a review, let us know how we're doing. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and uh, make sure that you share a comment, you share this on your social media to let your friends know. So anyways, we're talking about the, the misconceptions. So again, we talked about not understanding your consumer's journey uh, and just going wild, right? So if someone talks about blogging, they might talk about a garage floor that they did last weekend and they take a picture and they write two paragraphs and they think that, that is blogging. Now, that is one way of blogging. Uh, but what I'm telling you is being intentional and having a purpose and a plan to win and get leads. Like that is a big difference there. So understanding the intent and why we're doing it, uh, there is a big purpose and a big reason for that. So again, let me share from a search engine optimization perspective or from from uh, getting found on Google and getting more visitors organically. The, the, the one type of blogging that I personally know works for your business is the one that where you are writing, uh, you're writing and you're speaking to your prospective clients where they are at. And at the same token, that specific topic, it's supporting and it's linking to the specific services that you offer. So uh, taking you back into, into Stamp Concrete. Um, you know, what is Stamp Concrete? Here are the five things you should know. Right, and then in that specific article, you talk about everything about stamp concrete, the different colors, the different patterns, and then you say, "Do you are you looking for help, or are you looking uh, for an estimate, or are you looking for a design for your uh, patio or driveway?" You know, click here to schedule an estimate, or click here to look at more uh, more design ideas. Right, so so that's one way that you can funnel prospective clients. Uh, to through the different pages on your website. So um, again, awareness is one stage. That's one example. Con consideration in in the funnel stage is when someone already knows what they want. They they know the pattern they want. They know the finishes they want on their patio. Uh, they know the specific type of product they want. So now they know concrete coatings and more specifically, who does polyaspartic uh, concrete coatings, right? Instead of just doing epoxy, right? That now someone knows the difference between the lifetime of that specific application, etc. So they know they want that specific finish. They are looking for who might be an installer in their service area. So uh, so that's basically that's basically the consideration stage and the conversion stage happens now that someone's someone knows your business name, they've come across your blog, they know who you are. Now they're going to start to look look up for reviews about your business. And that's a big deal there. So someone might not know your name. They stumble through your blog. Now they know your name. Now, if they are interested in getting that done for their for their home or business, now they're going to go and research you online. So you got to make sure, like, at the same token, uh, you should write blog posts about you and your brand as well. So that is when we're talking about blogging about your projects, uh, new project done in whatever neighborhood by the name of your business, and then you showcase that specific pro project. So again, people will research your business name and uh, got to make sure that you come up, right? So you can write blog posts about the specific jobs and projects that you've been involved, uh, your community service. If you're part of any type of community projects, make sure that you're writing a blog post and that you're getting those ranked. Why? Because when someone is looking you up on Google search, you want your brand to come up and you want those noticeable uh, type of mentions via your blog to come up uh, organically for your business name. And if you optimize it the right way, there should be no problem getting those ranked for you. So it's very, very, very powerful. So again, look, a blog can serve you for multiple purposes, not just one. 
not just writing about uh, something very simple, right? So uh, again, one of the biggest misconceptions is not understanding your con customer's journey, how they go from not knowing what they want to knowing what they want to engaging with your content to considering doing business with you to actually sending you their information. And then and then that's that's a wrap for for that specific topic. Now the second misconception is not writing enough content. Like your content, if you're blogging, if you're actually blogging, you should actually write enough content for the search engines to consider you to be uh, an educational piece of content that that really answers the specific type of, of question. So I'm going to take you to the search engines and give you this different types of, of searches. Um, this, for example, is antimicrobial flooring, Atlanta, Georgia. So someone is looking for antimicrobial flooring. That's a very specific type of search online. And that's, you know, if you do concrete coatings, if you if you do uh, any, any type of concrete coatings and, you know, antimicrobial, uh, look, um, this is one article that we wrote for this client is why Atlanta businesses are switching to antimicrobial. Now, check this out. This happened last year, November 26th of 2020. You remember that that was during the pandemic, right? Uh, that's we're still dealing with COVID, but that was during right in the middle of it, man. A lot of people are talking about COVID and all the concerns and, you know, people dying. So antimicrobial flooring options, we're talking about the different options here. And, uh, you know, this, this are, these are all these different things that, that, you know, just consumers might need to start considering. Let me give you a different example. This one is commercial concrete, concrete flooring, Atlanta, commercial concrete flooring, Atlanta. And check this out. Another article. These are the Google ads right here. People are actually getting pain. They're paying to to you know show up here. And now you come here and there's an article. Top four commercial concrete flooring finishes in Atlanta, right? And then these are the top four that obviously this aligns with what the client wants. This is not aligned to what I want to write about. This is aligned with the type of floors that we want to push uh, per se into the marketplace. So you decide what you what, what you want to talk about here in the blogs. But for us, uh, when we start thinking about topics, we want to number one, support the content that we want to rank. And you can see here, there's another page by the same client that talks about commercial and industrial concrete flooring and the different type of floors. And you can see not a lot of content on this page, but uh, it's ranking right there, top of page one. Uh, so uh, that those are two examples here for you. And those are for someone that is already in the awareness stage researching for specific applications. Now, uh, let me show you a completely different animal right here. Uh, this I consider to be one one of the, the the best blogs for concrete contractors out there. And um, if you know Mike Day, Mike Day, uh, you know great guy. It, he writes a lot of useful content, not just here on everything dash about dash concrete.com, but also via his YouTube channel. You should check it out. It's a great example of how to write. Now, if you're writing this much content, I tell you, you're not gonna crack this out in 20 minutes. This takes a little bit of thought process, a little bit of preparation, and when you do it right, um, you know I can tell you that you will be ranking your content on Google Search. So um, let me look at this one. So Mike Day, uh, look at this one: a concrete cal calculators, and I believe he's uh, looking to rank for that specific calculator right here. Um, he's not coming up for that one, so I'm gonna show you a different one. Let me go ahead and look at. Uh, what else he's writing about? Let me see here. What Mike Day, our friend Mike Day, is writing about. Uh, so finished flooring. How about this? I'm going to show you something cool here. I'm going to take you to one of our tools right here. And might as well just show you what he's ranking for. And uh, if you're listening to this, we're literally going through one of our SEO tools. You can see he gets a lot of traffic, 20,000 20, plus uh, organic visitors. And what I want to look at is the organic keywords. So this way I can show you um, where he's r ranking uh, for specific positions here. So give me a second. Uh, okay, so if someone is looking for a concrete countertop, mix ratio like that's a very targeted search uh he comes up number one right there 
And you know, Google picked up right right within his website, Google picked up a specific section right there that just talked about the mixing ratio for concrete countertop, right? Now, where did I, where did I find that information? Well, we have the SEO tools to do the research. Uh, concrete porch and steps, interesting. Let me check this out. Concrete porch and steps. And uh, yeah, that's why I said interesting because he's not, he's not the number one um, here. The tool did say number one, but he might be probably one of the pictures is the one that that's showing up number one. Uh, and as you can see there, this is look, look at this one, uh, concrete porch steps. Uh, this is just another blog. It's just talking about that. Now, check this out. If someone is looking for concrete porch steps and there was in my specific service area, there was someone that actually wrote an article regarding that, I would see that article come up just like the Atlanta one, right? So it's an example of how to use all this content. So, so uh, this is showing you like real examples of how content can rank for any website. My day's website is ranking, it's getting 20,000 hits plus. Uh, so, so a couple of things I want to address. Number one is your blog posts should be strategic as far as the content that you're putting in there. Don't just wing it. There are multiple ways to get content. Uh, and, and create content for your your concrete services. Number one is look at the most frequently asked questions that you get. And that's something that we work with our clients is ask them, hey, give me the top 10 questions that you get asked all the time. We're going to write out a blog post for each one of those. And then what we do is we actually rank them on Google search as well as put those into the website so that users can crawl through the website, they can go go through the website, and they can find answers before they ask the our clients. And that, that serves as an educational piece, as well as a ranking piece. So if someone's looking for those questions, we know we want to get our clients found. Number two, you got your top 10 questions. Number two is what you want to educate your prospects on the specific process processes. So let me give you an example, pavers versus stamped concrete. It's a great topic. It's one that you want to write about, right? And then you can explain and you can give your specific spin to it, but also back it up by data. Like that's what I mean. Your content should be well researched with real data because Google knows if you're just making up stats, uh, they will not crawl and, and rank your, your stats. Uh, there's got to be some evidence to it. So uh, make sure that you have that covered uh, and then uh, we're going through you know well-researched content uh, knowing uh, the different keywords as well so having uh, the keyword research uh, already done will give you a good idea and if you don't have keyword research you don't know in any any data about your your competitive landscape what I recommend is you go to concrete marketing crew and you schedule a call with us and in there uh, just go to schedule a call it's going to take you right into the contact page. And when you go there, uh, it you know all you got to do is answer a couple of questions, guys. That's all you got to do. So answer a couple of questions. And uh, what, what's going to happen there is we're going to get on a one-on-one -on -one call uh, with either myself or one of my, my reps. And uh, when you get there, there's not going to be a high-pressure sales pitch. It's actually going to be an educational uh, strategy session where you just pick a time there and we're going to get to know your business. We're going to get to know uh, a little bit more about what your efforts are to marketing your concrete company and uh, your service area and what you're looking to get done. And then we're going to go back. Our team is going to do some research on your service area. It's going to pull out all the keywords that are trending in your services, for, uh, in your service area for your services. And then we're going to give that, provide that for you and give you some ideas how that can be used in your marketing plan. And that will be part of your marketing plan. Uh, again, there's no, no pressure. All you got to do is go to ConcreteMarketingCrew.com and schedule your call today. Uh, and, uh, and again, to wrap it up here, uh, last thing I want to talk about is, is uh, your content on your website, the content on your website, it's actually a support system to the rest of the website. Okay, so... Uh, Every, we talked uh, talked about the funnel, right? So the awareness stage, the engagement stage, the conversion stages, that's all great. That's all great for you concrete contractors. But at the end of the day, you want to get paid. And the only way you get paid is by someone giving you a phone call, someone submitting their information. And that only happens if those service pages and you're getting found for those service pages in your service area. 
So your blog is going to get you a lot of awareness, but the conversions happen when someone is looking directly at your services and service pages, and they're looking to actually get that specific type of job done. I showed you uh, one of our clients there for a commercial flooring example. Uh, I showed you for antimicrobial flooring example, right? Someone's looking for that. They will actually take the next step if that's what they're looking for, right? And um, those are some things that you can start looking into to improve your blogging. So homework for you is number one, keyword research. Number two is put together the list of the top 10 questions you get asked all the time, okay? Such as how much do you charge for X, right? So how much do you charge for stamp concrete? And then you can write a, 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 an article that talks about how much do you charge? How much is stamp concrete in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Boom, there you go. Answer that in detail give some real data, some national data, some geographical data, and talk about the, dif the difference between the cheaper guys and the not so cheaper guys. And there you go, you answer that in a blog post. Uh, and then that's one example. So write out the top 10 questions you get. And then uh, what I do recommend is, is, is start looking at, at the content that you write strategically whenever you work uh, for, for a, a large project or uh, uh, either a community project or anything that you are involved in, your organization, you want to rank those as well. And write out a, a good 500 words about that specific event. Talk about where it was, what type of... Um, what type of engagement it was, the specific process, show some pictures, show a video walkthrough, and that will get you found, that will get you known, and that is blogging for concrete contractors. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. This is Danny Barrera, Concrete Marketing Crew, and your Concrete Success Podcast. I'll see you guys on the next one.